Hi, this is Holly Copeland, and I am going to go over several steps in the process of the creation of my portfolio website. This is my old brand and website. The one on the left was built first with HTML and CSS. My old brand was Holly Amber, based off my pen name used in high school when I was a children's book illustrator, published, and I built a newer website, which is still transitionary and not the current one, on the right with WordPress CMS to get some practice with the popular CMS. And I used my own photography in the banner, but I have also redesigned the banner so it doesn't get mistaken as stock photography. And so here is my new brand. I initially was going to use the HC, but you know, Holly Copeland instead of Holly Amber because Copeland's my last name, Amber's my middle name, but it looked too similar to a B or the Bang energy drink logo. So I changed it to HC side by side and put a lizard on top. The very first step in designing a website actually a lot of the time is research into competitors and examples you can use for inspiration. I researched several portfolio sites made by other graphic designers before starting this project. Most of the time when you build a website, one of the first steps you want to take is to do sketches for wireframe concepts on paper, just as rough sketches before you invest a lot of time and energy into more complex designs. The next step typically is to do more complex wireframes. These are some still pretty low fidelity wireframes and the middle image is some just testing of various different colors for my website. Uh, that would typically be done in a comp or a, maybe a high fidelity, more likely a comp because high fidelity wireframes are usually still black and white. but. You know, I tested several different concepts, so I'm showing that in this frame as well, alongside the low fidelity wireframes. Previously, the banner on my WordPress site used images of photographs that I took, but since they could easily be mistaken for stock photographs and would be less likely to impress people, I created a new customized banner that is more obviously made specifically for my site to promote my graphic design and other digital artwork. So I took the photographs on the left and then I photoshopped them together to create the image on the right. And most pages only display less than the upper half of that image, but depending on the page, it needs to have a longer image. Here are some preliminary tests of the new banner image I created for my website. On the left is a testing version. On the right is the current version used on my website that I arrived at after doing testing of different sizes of the image itself, as well as different media queries in the custom CSS to assist with the responsive resizing of the image appropriately for different sized screens for different devices, you know, depending on if you're going to use a phone, tablet, or a laptop or desktop to view the website. Here's an example of some of the custom CSS that I worked on for my website to, you know, just edit the spacing, positioning, and borders and things like that around various elements in my website. So, I mean, even though it is built with WordPress, there is still a bit of custom coding involved just to add customizations for your personal brand or look and feel of your website. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Goodbye.